Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new Monday shopping trip. Oh yes, blue sky baby. Yes, it's really nice out. It's just gone nine o'clock in the morning and we are going out blue ray shopping. Yes, today I've decided we've done HMV and all that kind of stuff in Maidstone for a few times. So we're going where the, where the water is blue. Yes, the sky is blue and the water is blue. That's right, we're going to green water. No, we're not. We're going to blue water. <laughs> yes. Um, so what's out today? Well, we have the big one. Pardon. Uh, we have Fantasy Island. We have short treks. Yes, not a long trek. It's a short trek. Yes, lots of little individual little 15 minute episodes of Star Trek Discovery. Uh, very nice, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Creep Show 2. I'm not sure on that. Uh, Death Ship, finally, because I was looking for that for a couple of weeks, uh, but apparently it's out today. A few Arrow releases and odds and sods. There's also a ready, a, a new Ready Player One still book out. Don't know if HMV supplies that or if it's going to be an online exclusive um, and a few other bits and pieces. But anyway, let's get on the road. Um, our first stop. What? I know, I know. I think it's landing in Sainsbury's car park. We better get to Sainsbury's in Ashford, see what new Blu-ray releases they've got. Oh yes, baby, let's get on the road. Okay, so we just arrived at Ashford. We're at our first stop of the day. Yes, Sainsbury's. Let's go in, have a look and see what they've got on the shelves. Right, okay, into Sainsbury's and we're at the Blu-rays here. So I'm seeing short treks. Didn't think Sainsbury's would stock this. Wow, that's pretty good. Also comes with a nice slip as well for £15. Got Terminator Dark Fate there on uh, two for 25, I believe. Uh, we also have Lethal Weapon, the huge four movie box set here. Oh, look, you can see me. Hello. Yes, uh, that's quite a whopper, that one. That's in an offer as well. I think two for 20, two for 25. Over on the DVDs, we have Fantasy Island. Oh, yes, the big release of today. Very nice. And we also have Short Treks there on DVD as well. We've got something called Last Full Measure. Okay, uh, Ed Harris, Samuel L. Jackson, Christopher... That's got an impressive cast. William Hurt as well. Wow, that's got a great cast. Surely that can't be a crap film. But £7, who knows. What else we got? Atlantis. Uh, Birth of a Legend. Okay, not heard of that, but looks okay-ish. Over here we have Arthur and Merlin. Back to back. Dueling light. Anakin and Obi-Wan. Yes, I'm sure they haven't got lightsabers though. And up here we have Dark Waters, which didn't get a Blu-ray release in the UK. We also have The Hunt, one copy of The Hunt on DVD left here, plus also the other bits and pieces. Down here, we've got a lovely Mulan with a really shiny reflective slip on the DVD for £7. Uh, I'm trying to find Fantasy Island on Blu-ray. It doesn't look like they've got it. But uh, they do have quite a few offers on here, and the two for 25s. We've got uh, the Complete Matrix Trilogy, and also we have two for 15s or £10 each. We have Ad Astra there. Uh, down here we have Robocop, which is in the two for 15. So, what, £7.50 for an Arrow release? That's pretty flipping good. Lots of other uh, special offers here in the two for 15s and two, two for 25s as well. Uh, but uh, I'm not seeing anything else very interesting. But uh, up here on the TV section, we have the Peter K. Car Share Complete Series for 10 quid on DVD. Fantastic show, fantastic price. Down here we have Till Death Us Do Part, the complete collection. 
which I'm surprised they're actually stocking, but hey ho, 25 quid, that's a little bit expensive though. We have Blackadder remastered the complete DVD collection for 10 quid. Uh, really thinking of picking this one up, really like the look of this box set. We also have lots of other bits, detectives and all that kind of stuff. Father Ted here, the complete collection as well. That's pretty good. That's at £12. Okay, so we're out of Sainsbury's. The only thing I picked up was a lovely boost. Yes, a Vit Hit. Water, juice, tea and vitamins, berry. Oh, lovely. Lovely and refreshing. It's really warm out there today as well. My hair's standing on end. Uh, before we go and get some petrol, before we head off to Blue Water, uh, the Blu-rays and the DVD, I'm, I was very surprised that they actually had short treks on Blu-ray, but they didn't have Fantasy Island. That's very unusual. I would have thought short treks would be a no-no for a supermarket. Anyway... Nice to see it there with a slip. Unfortunately, there wasn't even a space for Fantasy Island on Blu-ray, but they had it on DVD. Anyway, so one pickup from Sainsbury's, which was just my lovely drink. So let's get on the road. We'll get some petrol or some diesel and uh, make our way up to Blue Water. I should imagine it'll be even warmer up there, but uh, it's a nice sunny day. It's a nice day to be out, yes. We haven't been able to do too much of it for the last four months, um, unless you count Bournemouth Beach and all that kind of crap. <laughs> yes, let's get on the road. Uh, next stop, Blue Water. Okay, so here we are in HMV at the main charts. So first thing I'm seeing is Fantasy Island. No slip, but £14.99, very good. So that's good, that's today's. And we also have short treks as well, with a slip for £14.99. A lot can happen on a short trek, oh yes. Very nice. On the television section here, we have the complete Orphan Black box set for £44.99, good series, very good series. On the superhero section here, we have the complete Incredible Hulk. Look at the price. Oh my God, I'm gonna turn green in a minute. Yes, let's put that back. Let's have a wander down here, see what we can find. Oh, look at that lot. And on the Studio Ghibli side, look, we have the lovely Spirited Away. £14.99, all with slips, very nice. Princess Monarchy and Ponyo and all the favourites, very nice. Okay, let's pop into the entertainer and see what they've got. A couple of Star Wars bits, we have the Dagobah Yoda of the Hut 40th Anniversary, a Boba Fett figure here, which is like a Comic Con exclusive, and the Child, that's about it. But we do have, I've got a bad feeling about this, the book. And look at this, the Mighty Thor massive painting. Marvel variant edition number one, autographed by Stan Lee, only six of nine. 
Okay, so let's go into the Disney store. But look, we've got some conditions. We have to wear a face covering. So let's get the mask out and slap it on our ugly mug. First thing I'm seeing is Baby Yoda. Lots of lovely plush Baby Yoda. And a really nice jumper with Baby Yoda on it. Down here we've got some lovely mugs, including a really nice glossy Spider-Man face. And down the bottom we have the Infinity Glove with some sparkling gems on it. Don't drop it, Paul, or you'll have to flip and pay for it. Over here on the Star Wars wall, we do have some Mandalorian pops. Cara Dune, Mando and IG-11. But that's 40 quid, plus some other pops, so we're just going to leave those there. Okay, so out of blue water, wasn't too bad in there. You've got to follow the paths around, uh, left for inwards, the other side for coming out. You know what I mean, one way system. A uh, little bit of a hazard navigating through the um, seating area, the food area, uh, because you've got all the restaurants along the side there and they're like intermixing with the queues to get out and it's all roped off you have to go through the seating area to actually get out so that's a little bit a little bit uh disorganized but other than that it's okay uh disney store was mandatory to wear a mask yes if you ain't got a mask you don't get to see baby yoda that's as simple as that but uh they were giving out masks at the door if you didn't have them i just shoved my one on my black one and uh yeah not too much mandalorian stuff couple of bits of Baby Yoda, Cara Dune pop and also uh, the Mandalorian IG-88. That was 40 quid. That's expensive. Yeah, so I left that. Uh, but uh, a little bit of other Star Wars stuff, but it wasn't very busy in there. I've just got my Din Dins. Um, I decided, well, McDonald's, it's always been McDonald's in the past. And I looked at the map and I thought, Hang on a minute, I thought this company went into administration about 20 years ago. Uh, obviously not. So, yes, we used to have one of these stores, one of these uh, eateries uh, in Dover, and we used to have one in Ashford, but not for like 20 years or so. Anyway, I went to Spud You Like. Yes, I fancied a nice baked potato. So I got, what did they give me? They gave me, oh, they gave me a little pot of cheese which I could sprinkle on top of my jacket spud. They gave me a free little cupcake as well. And then, ooh, there we come. Oh, good, they did put a knife and fork in. Would have been terrible without a knife and fork, wouldn't it? Oh, that's heavy. Ooh, is it upside down? I bet I've got it upside down. No, I haven't. Okay, I decided to opt for, don't drop it out your box. A tuna and sweet corn. That looks really nice. That's a whopper. That's what she said. So I'm going to eat my little jacket spud. Uh, and I just need to sprinkle. I don't know how much cheese they, they think I want. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the top. Just a little bit. I can take the rest home. Use it on a salad or something. Still got half a, half a pot left. Fantastic. So there we go. There is my lovely jacket spud with tuna and sweet corn and uh, a sprinkling of the cheese on top. So going to eat this um, and then I'll show you what I picked up. I picked up one Blu-ray from HMV, uh, which I'll talk about in a minute. But first of all, I'm going to dig into my jacket spud. So I'll see you in a bit. Meanwhile. Okay, I've got the air conditioning going because it's really warm out, it's like 25 degrees. Um, that was really nice, spud you like. Beautiful cooked baked potato, Cut, no problem. Lots of lovely cheese. Oh, that was nice, that was way better than a McDonald's. Anyway, let's get on to what I picked up and what I had delivered a couple of days ago. Yes, um, I did ask them if they had two in, tar in, in stock because I couldn't find them on the shelves. They were Death Ship, which they didn't have, and Creep Show 2, the limited edition. Uh, he even checked the website and said it's so limited, we can't stock it and we can't get it from a supplier. So even though the green box sold out on the Arrow website, the red box 
is also really limited. So if you want it, grab it. Uh, I mean, I wasn't going to pick it up, but it would have been nice to have a look at it. But uh, yes, so if you find it, don't wait around because it looks like it's going to be really limited. Anyway, let's get on to today's uh, Blu-rays. So this one I had delivered about a week ago. This is uh, today's new release. So this is Fantasy Island. Uh, this is not like the old Fantasy Island. Uh, I haven't watched it, but I know from the trailer it's not like it. This is unrated and theatrical versions. This is the US Im uh, import, comes with a slip cover. Unfortunately, the UK one doesn't come with a slip. But uh, really like that artwork. Looking forward to watching that one. Also, that came out today, which I had delivery a couple of days ago before the weekend, is Star Trek Short Treks. Yes, nine little 15 minute, 10 minute, 15 minute tales of kind of like mini episodes spin off of Star Trek Discovery to keep people interested between seasons. I think I only actually saw the first four. I saw Runaway Calypso, which was fantastic. The Brightest Star and The Escape Artist, which I believe was mud. Uh, but they've also got Q&A, The Trouble with Edward, which I take is a, uh, a spin on The Trouble with Tribbles. Ask Not, Ephraim and Dot, which looks a bit animated, and The Girl Who Made the Star. So I'm looking forward to watching those other uh, extra episodes, but I've only seen the first four on Netflix. So looking forward to watching that. And I did check... Uh, for, I re somebody requested that I check the subtitles on this. The only subtitles there are, are for hard of hearing. So there's no foreign subtitles whatsoever. So that's that one. The other one I picked up, and I suddenly remembered, as I was approaching the exit, one of the main reasons why I was, what I was going to be looking for. The Crown. Yes, the complete second season of The Crown in the thicker box set. It comes in a jumbo amore case. I thought it came in a, in a digi pack, but that's no problem. I wanted a thicker box. This was £27.99. Uh, even though the one I bought on Amazon the other day was £19.99. Uh, it was the foreign one, but I don't know why there's so much difference in price. But uh, I'm glad I, I got the big thicker box set. Uh, that will go next to my premium season one. So I'll just send uh, the one that I got from Amazon back and get a refund. But uh, I have got a floater, oh dear, yes. So they are today's pickups and uh, deliveries from the last couple of days. So the Crown season two, Short Treks and Fantasy Island, fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this little trip to Blue Water. Wasn't too busy up here. Uh, thankfully, I guess uh, a lot of people are still furloughed and, and, and not going out. But um, yeah, it's, it's good to get up here, get away from like local area and haven't been up here since um, maybe end of last year. I can't even remember the last time I came up here. It was probably last summer. But uh, it'd be nice when it all gets to f back to full swing and uh, hopefully you don't have to wear masks and... You don't have to worry about social distancing. We can only hope anyway. Fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. What did you pick up today? Did you manage to get your creep show too? And uh, have you got Fantasy Island and Short Treks and all that stuff? And uh, stick it down in the comments and I shall see you on the next video. Bye.